Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be discussing about XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP is a new addition to lookup functions and it is smarter than both VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP together. Now, before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is X lookup in Excel. Now, for that, let's get started with the Excel. Now, we are on the practical mode that is Microsoft Excel. Now, here you can see the first chart. So, this particular data is converted into a table format to avoid confusion while you're fixing the data. So, here you can see the name of the employee, employee ID, department, salary, and date of joining. And here, you can see the salary column and the bonus percentage of each and every employee based on their salaries. Now, coming to the new data table, and here on the table 2, which is an updated table, here you can find, we are going to find out the department of the employee and the current department of employee and the bonus percentage based on his or her salary. So, why are we finding current department again? So, here you can see that we have an intern, Emily, who has joined in the year 2020. But recently, she got promoted as a developer. So her department has been changed from department intern to department developer in 2021. So that's what we're going to find out here in the current department using XLOOKUP. Now, let's start to implement XLOOKUP. So for that, equals to XLOOKUP. And for lookup, you can see if we need to find out the lookup value, lookup array, return array, and all the other two are not important right now but you can use them to get some exact matches in the future we'll also use that in the future for now let's try to use the first three parameters that is lookup value lookup array and return array so the lookup value is the name of the employee mary and lookup array is right here which is this one now we are going to select the lookup array then comma and uh, we're going to look up the department so this is the department lookup array and that's all we need close the bracket and press enter okay i think we missed out the lookup value so the employee uh, or the lookup value which we required was missed so i've added it here so that is the lookup value the first one which is mary and there you go press enter and you have the department here now let's add it to all the rows and here you have all the rows and all the data related to all the employees now we will find out the current department as you can see here you have emily as intern which is the older data but what if you needed the latest data that is the developer in the year 2021 right for that you might want to twerk the xlookup formula a little bit so let's try that xlookup lookup value which is the same and comma now where you have to look for the array that is lookup array this one and the return array which happens to be this one and next you can find the exact match for this one so that's all right exact match and here comes the important part where you have to search last to first by default, XLOOKUP searches for first to last, that is like this, in the starting place to the last place. So that's the reason why we had Emily as intern. So now if we give last to first, then it retrieves the latest data where Emily will be shown as developer. Now select that and now you can close the brackets and press enter. So let's add that to all the rows. There you go. Now you can see Emily, Clark, Peter and James all they have got their updated job profiles as you can see in the original data emily is a developer now so is clark who was originally a tester and he got promoted to development team in 2021 similarly peter became a senior finance executive in 2021 and james the manager of sales now let's try to find out the bonus for all these employees based on their salary so this one is quite simple so x lookup now the lookup value is their existing salary comma and the bonus part so the lookup array is the salary range then here is another important point 
So here you might want to find the exact match, but finding an exact match will not help you here. You might want to declare another type of value where you can get exact match or next smaller item. So you'll understand it why I'm selecting that. So now let's close the bracket and enter. So, so now we have the bonus values. Now let's add the bonus value to all the factors, all the rows. I mean. So you can see we have different variety of salaries that is 38,000, 22,000, 39, etc. But here in the ranges we have provided 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So what if the value is between 30 and 20? That's when you want the less number, right? That's when you want the number which is equivalent to 30 or less than 30, which happens to be 15%. So that's how it has worked here. That is 0.15% bonus to the actual salary. So that's how you use XLOOKUP in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you need the data set that we have used in this particular session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. And our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.